All right, we're here at my Vermi Hut indoor worm tower and we're gonna check on a few things. We put a little bit of a pineapple experiment in here. I also put some food scraps in here to bait out some worms for my friend that's starting her new Vermi Hut. And we put a napkin on top of this bin last time and it's not anywhere to be seen, so let's find it. And here it is right on top of the lid. So I've talked about how moisture comes up from the tray, hits the lid and then goes back down in which is one of the reasons why worm towers are really good at retaining their moisture. And here it is right here. Now you can also see deep down inside here, it is kind of wet inside where the cocoa choir mat is. And that is okay. There's also a few worms in here. You just get some that come up here, but it's not an issue at all. They do not escape through the holes because as soon as they stick their little worm heads out, they get a blast of dry air. So worm towers are really good for maintaining worms. And even if your worm bin doesn't have a lid on it, the worms aren't gonna wanna come out because they're gonna wanna stay inside where it's nice and juicy. So the first thing we did was we dug a little bit of a hole to bait out some worms for my friend and I put a lettuce piece right here. And then when I came back a couple days later to get the worms out, there was a piece of what I thought was an apple core and it had a ton of worms on it. So I took it out along with the lettuce piece that had worms in it. Then we dug a little hole out with a napkin and put the stuff back in. And here's the napkin right here. And here is what I thought was the apple core. And it is actually part of our pineapple experiment. It is the core to the pineapple. And you can see they, are all over it. I got so many worms out of this and I actually took it and kind of pulled the worms out and just tried to get as many as I could out and I couldn't. They were dug all in it. So this is absolutely incredible. I didn't know that pineapple cores make for a great worm bait. So I'm gonna set this to the side and we're gonna to continue to dig inside here where we fed them last. And let's go ahead and go over what we fed them last. So first we add a dry shredded cardboard and two lettuce stalks. Then we put down the pineapple core and two other pieces to act as a control in our experiment. We'll be looking for those. We also piled in a bunch of green beans and blueberries my mom gave us. Next, we gave them some peach slices and some purple sweet potato ends and strawberries. Finally, we topped it off with spent coffee grains and pulverized eggshell grit and buried it up with more dry shredded cardboard and the contents of the bin. And here is the napkin we put on top. So let's see if we can find the other pieces of pineapple. Now those pieces of pineapple were just kind of from the sides, you know, the skin that you kind of take off. We put them on either side and I don't really see anything right here. Let me get a bigger pool of it and see. And yeah, I am not, so well, maybe right here. Right here is a piece of pineapple skin. You can see they kind of have like, almost like hexagon little pieces on them on the outer side. And I think that is one of them. Oh, and here's a bunch right there. You guys probably saw that before I did. So I would say that they ate through the fleshy part, leaving the skin a little bit faster than they have gone through this core. I think this core is gonna take them longer, but man, do they absolutely love it. So let's dig in and see if we can find any of it. Now it's been 15 days since we were in here. So I am seeing a lot more of the bedding in here than I'm used to seeing when I wait like three weeks. And we did fill it up pretty high because I wanted to bulk this up because in two more weeks, we are gonna rotate, I think, based on you know when we dig around and make sure more of the cardboard is gone. So it's good, I gave her a lot of worms. Between this bin and a couple of my others, I think I gave her somewhere around 500 worms and we're still seeing a bunch in here. So she didn't get them all. And I think there's somewhere around 4,000. So that really didn't put too much of a dent in here. This looks like a banana stock right there. And yeah, it's, it's just looking like lots of eaten up food. What is this? This, okay, here we go. There we go, more of the pineapple skin. So, wow, they really do enjoy it. People uh, sometimes a little fearful about putting pineapple in a worm bin because it's acidic, but not to worry, the worms will go for it. And, you know, when they eat it, it may go in acidic, but when it comes out, just like us, it comes out neutral and they're not gonna go after it if it is too acidic. So let's look in there. And then obviously the more castings you get, it is gonna be a neutral pH for sure. All right, check that out. Little tiny, not quite a worm ball, but definitely a, a, a board meeting of worms right there, right in that pineapple. That's fantastic. 
That is really cool. Probably because it's so juicy in that pineapple. All right, let's dig out a little bit more of this feeding, see if we can find the, oh, here we go. I was looking for this. This is the sweet potato, and it's looking to me almost like a cornucopia of worms because it's in a bit of a cone shape. Let me peel it back and see what we're gonna find here. This is, whoa, all right. They are kind of tunneling through it, through the top. I'm gonna pull them all out so you can see how they eat the food. A lot of people think that the microbes totally eat the food and then the worms only eat the microbes, but that is not the case. The worms also dig in and eat and both the microbes and the worms break down the food and the microbes are where the worms get most of their nutrients because just like inside our guts, they, meaning the microbes, are the ones that digest the food for them. Really cool. Really cool. I don't know if I'm gonna, it's so fibrous in there. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get to where we see just chunks out, but clearly they are going for that potato. That is really cool. All right, enough playing around. <laughs> Here's a little bit of a worm ball because I wanna get to the sides here and I wanna see how much they are congregated in the sides and see if they are all throughout the bin. And yep, they are. I have right down here, we're getting a lot of big ones right there. Yep, so they are all over the place. I think they come and eat and they go over other places and they're constantly moving. I do think, based on a video from Sandra, that they are more of a nocturnal type of animal, so they are much more active at night. Even though we are in a house in a controlled environment, they've done experiments and they find that they still are more active at night, even when they're not outside. Yep, and deep down in here, Still lots more worms. So I'm gonna mix this up really good and then we're gonna set up for our feeding. I am seeing a lot of shredded cardboard in here and I do remember we put a lot of shredded cardboard on the top, on the sides. That is why we're seeing a bunch of that. But I think as we bury it under here, they are going to be able to get to it more. All right, so I'm gonna put the napkin down just like that. I'll put the pineapple core and we are gonna give them a pretty good feeding, but we're not gonna add any more additional cardboard because I'm gonna rotate next time. So this is a mystery bag that I got from my mom. Usually she labels it, so I'm just gonna call it the blob. And let's try and discover what it is. It looks like some peaches here. Oh, and I think we've got possibly an avocado right here. And then same thing here. Now you can tell I freeze all my food scraps and then we put them in and that helps to break them down. Yeah, that looks like some peaches and some other mystery. So we're gonna put that right there, just like that. Got a little worm there, so I'm just gonna kinda push that down and put the napkin paper towel over it. And then here is a piece of lettuce from us. I've got some onions right there and some tomato and check out some of my other videos to learn that you can actually put onion in. But just like all other food, you want to put it in moderation. You don't just want to give them a feeding of onions. So there we'll put a banana half there and another one right there. So that is a pretty big feeding for my 4,000 worms. Next we're going to go in with some of my spent coffee grounds that sit on my counter and sometimes get a little moldy. But it's another great food source for them and another great way to get nutrients into your garden. And then we'll top this off with some pulverized eggshell grit. I've run out of worm chow and run out of expired grains in my pantry, so it's been a little while since I've had worm chow, but this grit helps them to digest their food because they have a gizzard and a crop. And then here's the napkin that I use to kind of wipe off my hands, so we'll put that on top as well. And then let's just go ahead and bury it up since we are not gonna put in any more shredded cardboard. This has been a really good feeding and I'm really pretty excited about how well this tray has performed over the last, I guess it's been 75 days. So I'm gonna be rotating at the 90 day mark. If I had been feeding every two weeks or every week, I could have done it at 60 days. But since I was being a little bit of a lazy worm farmer, I'm having to go a little bit longer in between rotations. So 15 days, we're gonna rotate it. And then once we do that, we're gonna be able to harvest this bin in 60 more days. No. Yep. No. Yes. Dude. I have to. <laughs> the executive producer said no, but <laughs> I just can't resist giving them a little bit more shredded cardboard. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, hit that subscribe button and give me a like. And if you want to see a video of one of my favorite time lapses, check out this video right here. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> so I hope you're having a great day. I hope your worm bins are doing fantastic. 
So happy Verma composting, everybody. Take care now. Dude, that's so naughty. You're behind the camera. You can't get to me.